Hello and welcome to everyone. Here is the news for March 11, 2024. We are going to discuss. John Cena presents the Best Costume Design Award at the 2024 Oscars Nearly Naked. The Photoshop fails in the latest Kate Middleton picture. Emma Stone appears to call Jimmy Kimmel <laughs> after poor things, joke. Let's get started. And if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss our upcoming video. In a bold homage to a notorious Oscars moment, John Cena embraced the spirit of the 1974 Academy Awards streaker by presenting the Best Costume Design Award at the 2024 Oscars Nearly Naked. The memorable bit was introduced by host Jimmy Kimmel, who recalled the incident when a naked man dashed across the stage during the 46th Academy Awards, posing the question of what the reaction would be if such an event were to happen today. This setup led to a humorous exchange where Cena, initially backstage, appeared only in Birkenstock sandals and armed with an envelope for modesty, feigning reluctance to complete the streaking bit because it felt inappropriate for such a prestigious event. Cena's jest about the male body not being a joke and his rejection of Kimmel's suggestion that his wrestling attire, jorts, would make him comfortable with nudity, added layers to the performance, underscoring the blend of humor and respect for the event's elegance. Despite his initial hesitance, Cena proceeded to take the stage in his minimal attire, humorously stressing the importance of costumes in cinema before a quick change into a nude colored curtain fashioned as a toga to announce the winner, Poor Things, for Best Costume Design. This playful segment at the 96th Academy Awards, hosted by Kimmel and broadcast live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, not only paid tribute to Oscar's history but also highlighted Cena's comedic timing and willingness to entertain. The incident is a testament to how the Oscars continue to find ways to engage and surprise audiences, blending reverence for its storied past with moments of unexpected levity. Several major news agencies have retracted a photo of Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her children distributed by Kensington Palace, citing evidence of manipulation. This image, the first of the princess since her abdominal surgery in January, was released amidst widespread speculation about her health and location. The photograph, intended for Mother's Day celebrations in the UK, has sparked a new controversy over its authenticity, with CNN and other international news organizations noting apparent alterations, particularly around Princess Charlotte's sleeve cuff and a zipper on Catherine's jacket. The Associated Press, Agents France Press, and Reuters have all identified manipulation concerns, leading to the withdrawal of the image from their distributions. Agents France Press specifically cited an editorial issue related to alterations, while Reuters pointed out inconsistencies in Charlotte's sleeve alignment, and the app highlighted an alignment inconsistency with the daughter's hand. This incident underscores the stringent standards news organizations uphold against publishing manipulated images to maintain credibility and public trust. The controversy arrives at a challenging time for Britain's royal family, already navigating the complexities of public scrutiny following the princess's extended absence from the public eye due to her surgery. Kensington Palace has yet to comment on the matter, leaving unanswered questions about the photo's alterations and their implications for royal family communications. However, the Princess of Wales apologized for confusion caused by a Mother's Day photo retracted by five agencies due to editing issues. She admitted to experimenting with retouching, like many amateur photographers. The photo, taken post-operation in January, was shared on social media with a message of gratitude. During the Academy Awards in Los Angeles, a moment involving Emma Stone and host Jimmy Kimmel sparked speculation among viewers. Following a joke Kimmel made about Stone's film, Poor Things, which referenced the R-rated movie's risque scenes, some audience members believed Stone called Kimmel a PRK. This interpretation was based on an attempt to read her lips in a brief cutaway clip broadcasted during the show, where Stone appeared to mutter something to her husband, Dave McCary, after Kimmel's comment. Social media users debated what Stone actually said, with some convinced she uttered the expletive in response to Kimmel's joke. Tweets and comments reflected a mix of interpretations, ranging from agreement with the initial speculation to skepticism about accurately lip-reading from the clip.